Adam and Jamie have proved a runny nose will eventually catch up to you. Where does that leave us? Well, we wondered, suppose the person who's spreading the germs is acting more responsibly. Suppose they're trying to keep others from being infected. That's what we're going to test next. We've set up this whole space again, totally clean. I haven't touched anything here. I will have the same drip rig going on, dripping at the same rate, except I'm going to be trying to keep my germs from spreading to any parts of this table and any of my guests. Let's see how I do. So the Mythbusters will repeat the nasal secretions test. Hello. Hello. Hello, good to see you. With two vital differences, Adam will do everything he can not to spread his pseudo-snot. And we've got a new set of blissfully unaware test subjects. But i got to warn you, I've got a little bit of a cold, so let's do an elbow greet. How are you? How are you? But will modifying his behavior decrease the chances of contamination? He's not shaking hands, he's bumping elbows. Jasmine? Despite the fact that his nose is still dripping at 60 mils hey, per hour, Adam is doing all he can to limit right. his hand-to-hand -hand contact with his guests. Um, and Tori, if, uh, if you would take this and hand out a sheet to everybody. Dana, if you would pass these pens to your, uh, pass these pens to your right, let me make sure everyone gets a pen. We're going to play a game called Dictionary. Oh. <laughs> but as well as avoiding direct contact with his guests, Adam's also avoiding indirect contact by enlisting their help. Dana, will you hand out the glasses for me, please? At this point, it looks like he's doing pretty well because the only thing that's actually been passed around person to person has been the paper notes. The glasses, the bottle, even uh, meeting everybody in the beginning didn't involve any kind of contact at all. And once again, the 30 minutes seems to fly by until it's time to bring in the bouncer. All right, then. So everybody's had some cake, some champagne. You played a couple games. Lovely party. Time to call it quits. Jamie says it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> wow. What a was great. And with that, the test is over. But has Adam kept his snot to himself? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, let's see your hands. You're clean. You're clean? Well, the result is You're spelled clean. out in no neon light. Clean. Clean. Good job, Adam. In stark contrast to the previous test, amazingly, Adam has not infected a single guest. I gotta say, that was totally amazing. Just by a simple change of technique, you can prevent everyone at the party from getting sick. Let's recap. The myth that if you're sick, your nasal secretions will go everywhere. Confirmed. And the ability as an innocent bystander for one to avoid those secretions. Not impossible, but very difficult. So what have we concluded is the best way to prevent the spread? Well, if you're sick, you need to take some personal responsibility. Absolutely right. This has been a public service announcement from Jamie and Adam at Mythbusters.